First ferry experience after freedom camping without a shower for two whole days. I'm not really run every inch of my body. You're not you when you're hungry. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Chloe and Ludwig's travel channel. Woo. Are you ready for another exciting vlog? I am. <sighs> Me, I am. Today we have the very exciting task of travelling all the way from Picton at the top of the South Island to Wellington, the bottom of the North Island via the Inter-Islander Ferry. As you can see here, the ferry. Okay, no, Chloe, what are you doing? You're just making it worse. What is that? Waves? Okay, anyway, yes, the ferry, Wellington, let's go. And now we're waiting in our car in a big long line. I'm guessing they let all the cars on at once. So be prepared for a nice long wait. However, there is a handy coffee shop just back there on the road, which is very, very handy. They've obviously put that there for the people waiting in their cars. There's also a toilet. Pretty much everything you need. Everything you need waiting in this line. It's very exhilarating. Exhilarating. <laughs> waiting, waiting, waiting for the ferry. Excited to have a coffee on board. Waiting, waiting for the ferry, waiting in a line. Oh. And we're off. First ferry experience in New Zealand. Let's go. Let's go. Our little board is sitting in our bum, so we're going to wander around and try and get our steps up. Last time we went on a cruise ship, we decided we were never gonna take the lift. We were gonna give as many steps and using the stairs. And uh, Ludwig came up with a new technique to go up and down the stairs. <laughs> Are you gonna stop there? <laughs> that three and a half hours went super duper quick. I'm actually quite surprised at how little time that felt. We entertained ourselves pretty darn well, I'd say. They had so many different things on that ship that I didn't imagine. There was a kid's little play area. Ludwig was unfortunately too big to go in there. Oh, it's only 10 and under. They had a cinema and we didn't want to be those guys and interrupt so we just looked from outside. They had a few different eateries. We sat at one little bar and lounge place and had a soy latte and did some work. They also have a couple of different viewing decks if you'd like to go and look outside or if you're feeling a bit seasick like I was. But be prepared, the wind it was pretty hectic. A little bit windy. Overall, I thought the experience was rather pleasant actually. There was a lot of charging stations as well if you wanted to charge your devices like we needed to since we're freedom camping for the next two nights. Oh, we're taking off, we're taking off. Are you excited? I am pretty excited. Nice. This is officially our first takeaway in a van. I cannot believe it. We got Hal's Pizza. This place is so good. If you are in New Zealand and you are on the hunt for vegetarian or vegan pizza, Hal's has so many options. And basically every pizza you get, you can get with vegan cheese. So we got here vegan chorizo with vegan cheese. I think it's vegan mozzarella on top with just a bunch of vegetables. And under here we got corn vegan chicken nuggets. So delicious and we are in the most beautiful freedom camping spot. I can't believe this place is free. Good spotting honey. Show them. And as we're getting into the North Island it's getting really quite toasty. All right, 
we're gonna go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. We'll show you our exciting coffee and breakfast excursions here in Wellington City. Good night. Night. Good morning, everybody. Morning. We just slept at another freedom camping spot last night here in Wellington City. It was totally different from what we've done so far. We're used to sleeping out in the very, very silent wilderness, in the mountains and the forest by the lakes. And it's safe to say we didn't pick that place so wisely. Although it was beautiful, we didn't think about we were staying there on a Friday night in a busy city. There was a lot of boy racing going on and neither of us slept very good. <laughs> That's okay though, we want to get a nice early sleep tonight because we are getting up early early tomorrow morning to do a really big massive hike. We're gonna go and find ourselves some amazing delicious breakfast. We've heard that Wellington is all about good food and good coffee so we're pretty excited to go and try breakfast. We have googled a few spots so we're gonna check out one of the most popular apparently and we'll see you there. Unfortunately, we didn't get much time at all in Wellington and I'm glad we did leave pretty early to get on the road as soon as possible for Mount Taranaki because popped out of nowhere a bunch of traffic. It's a Saturday morning right now and we've just been sitting in traffic for probably the last hour on the main road. We have no idea where all of these cars are headed. We don't know if there's some kind of a big event happening in the weekend that we've just got stuck in, but we are seriously stuck in some traffic. Glad we left early. Yeah. Here's what we're dealing with this morning. An hour of this and it doesn't seem to be clearing up at all. Ping! Yeah! Woo! We've just arrived here at the Mount Egmont Visitor Centre. You can actually stay overnight for free. So we're gonna freedom camp here for the night. They've got some toilets you can use, plus some fresh water that you can fill your drink bottles up with, as well as a cafe, I did notice. You did. I did notice there's a cafe. Yeah. Plus, most handy of all, this is where our hike for tomorrow begins. So we're gonna get up super early and start our hike for 6 a.m. We're doing the Pukai Circuit Hike. This is normally a multi-day hike that takes two or three days, and we're gonna actually try to do it in one day. We've had a bit of practice so far in New Zealand with our little hikes with our last one being Mueller Hut, giving us a good practice before this one. We've been told it's gonna to take us about 10 hours. Woohoo! Minimum. minimum. We've packed a shoot ton of snacks. We've got tons of little nut bars. We've got Snickets, protein bars, more protein bars, energy vitamin C, we've got bananas, we've got apples, and we've even got muesli and milk to take with us. We're gonna take our bowls and our spoons. We're gonna have breakfast up at the Puakai Tarns, which is that beautiful spot with the beautiful scenery. So I'm aiming to start this hike at 5.30. By 6 a.m. I'll have these two. 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9, and 11. Lunch, one, two, three, four, five. Excuse me, but what's left for me? This. We've just had a nice baby wipe shower, as of course, we're freedom camping tonight. There are no showers, so baby wipes are the key. We do, however, brush our teeth, also floss our teeth, and use mouthwash, basically every night. Oh yeah, we're very hygienic in the van, don't you worry about that. So tomorrow's wake up call is 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Please 5 a.m. Or fresh. Good night.
So the whole first 90 minutes of this hike has just been through an awesome looking forest. These trees are amazing. They are massive. This part so far, very fun. So I have to cut the sound out of that one. Yeah, or maybe I'll leave it in. Once you pass the forest section, one thing to be very aware of is that there are a lot of stairs once again leading up to the Puakai Tans that everyone takes a classic photo of. This is the hardest part of the track apparently, we were told at the visitor centre, but we've got a view of Mount Taranaki now, just got a couple more stairs to go. After two hours and 15 minutes, we have successfully made it to the top of Henry Peak. We're currently at 1,224 meters. <sighs> wow. I haven't got the microphone and it's pretty windy, so sorry about the sound right now. I just had to show you this amazing view. This amazing view without shower for two days. Excited for one tonight. Very excited. Okay, we've passed the peak and it is officially time to whip out the goods. You're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> yes! Alrighty, three hours in and we've made it up to the famous Puakai Tans. Now unfortunately for us it is quite windy today so we don't get that classic mirror shot of Mount Taranaki reflecting onto the water but it is still an insane view. So if you do come up here and it's a windier day, don't worry at all, it's amazing. It's a nice place to stop, rest your legs and grab a snack. However, the Puakai Hut is not too far from here. Just 15 minutes walk, we've been told by some other hikers. So we're gonna make our way over there now, have some breakfast and then continue our full day hike. But this spot is absolutely beautiful. This is so cute. Made it to the book I had. There are a lot of people here, but it's so cozy. It's breakfast time. Pop some almond milk in a Coke bottle. And we're gonna top it with a banana. A bruised, squashed banana. This here is the pee pee station. I guess you just got to knock to see if someone's occupying it. Wait. I'll wait for you. You're welcome. Nice yep, I know. We've just come out of the bush and we've noticed just ahead of us is a long, long, long boardwalk. This little trail here, it's going to lead us all the way up to the Holly Hut, which is, I believe, that little building just there in the distance. Are you ready to take on this boardwalk? Yeah. Be careful on the stairs. <laughs> We've just passed the Holly Hut. From the Holly Hut over to the visitor center, they say it's three and a half hours left. So we're definitely going to try and beat that time, but it seems like quite a bit of incline again now. We've got quite a few stairs. Ludwig is having a wee little stretch. You weren't expecting some more stairs, were you? No. My legs are quite shaky. If you are going to do this hike in one day, be prepared to stretch a lot and have shaky legs. Wow. The views of Mount Taranaki. Hikes like this just make you feel so small. Mm -hmm. I love it. And after 25 kilometers, we see our car. We have successfully finished the Puakai circuit in one day, folks. One day. It wasn't even a day, it was eight hours. And guess what that means? It's only 2.30 p.m. The cafe is still open for another two hours. That was really my drive and motivation for finishing early. So we're gonna take this bad boy to the cafe. We're gonna have a soy latte. We may have some chips and wedges if they have them. Good day. T-shirt number one, that lasted for about you know, 30 minutes and then it was soaked. T-shirt number two, not as soaked, because there wasn't as many stairs going up. Still soaked. First shirt of the day, this bad boy, still completely soaked and I took it off like four hours ago. 
second shirt of the day. Just took this off now and it is wet through. Pretty excited to put on some cozy clothes now and have a coffee. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing feels quite as good than having a hot shower, washing your hair, shaving your legs, after not only freedom camping without a shower for two whole days, but after also doing one eight hour full day hike. Feeling pretty good right now. We've just made our way from Mount Taranaki to the nearest big town called New Plymouth. We're currently staying at a holiday park called Fitzroy Beach Holiday Park. We're parked right on the coast. There's apparently a really nice walkway. There's bike hire. However, we're not going to be doing any of that after today's hike. We're simply going to cook dinner on the back of our van and have a nice early night. Maybe watch some funny cats on YouTube. I've just spotted Ludi coming back from his shower. He's looking pretty fresh himself. <sighs> Ludwig's mumbling back there, but I just can't hear him. I'm it's not really listening. <laughs> Every inch of my body. <laughs> I, I, Even my pinky toe. Squeaky. Clean. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going on for so long. Yum! Veggie soup! And garlic pita bread. Woo woo! Yum! This morning we woke up and it wasn't the best weather. It was raining like crazy and apparently for the next couple of days, everywhere we're going is raining. Don't mind Ludwig, he's just getting beautiful for the day. So today we've decided to do something that we haven't done this entire trip, and that is maybe. Not a maybe, it's a definite. Going. It's a maybe. To the movies. We're going to the movies. One of my favorite things to do in the world. Yep, I'm a nerd. We're also, of course, checking out apparently the best brunch spot here in New Plymouth. Ludwig's really hangry, so we're gonna get to it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> exploring New Zealand, going on hikes, going kayaking with wildlife, going hiking up Mount Cook, hiking on glaciers. What else have we done that's really extraordinary? I don't know, but sometimes you just gotta go to the movies. That was my point. <laughs> sometimes you just gotta go to the movies in the middle of the day at 3 p.m. on a Monday. Well, cause it's raining. That's what you gotta do. Are you looking to sell your property at After a luxurious night staying in a campground with showers, we head one hour north to the Three Sisters in Elephant Rock. Here we found a lovely remote freedom campground with unbeatable views and plan to do a little exploration in the morning, so stick around for that. Where do you want to go? There's a nice little spot right there. Yeah. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations of Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you you're making me want to try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby We're walking
walking out on the beach to go and see these amazing rock formations called the Three Sisters in Elephant Rock. I've had to put my hiking shoes on, looking a little bit ridiculous with my jeans and hiking shoes, but we are literally walking on wet sand and we have an opening of two hours either side of low tide. So we've got around just over an hour left. Let's go and have a look. Walking through water. coming here bring waterproof shoes bring waterproof shoes not these not those my feet are fine i've got massive hiking boots on <laughs> but now the tide is up so now it's gonna be deeper oh no let's go let's go quick let me come on come on let me oh he's carrying all the gear Thanks for watching the video. We're gonna end this here because it's pretty important that we get back to our van safe and sound and as dry as humanly possible. Too late. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Stay tuned for more exciting adventures.